first day I took over, we basically know there's been a chase, there's four suspects involved, confirmed by Larico himself. We didn't know why Larico had been killed and we still didn't really know where it had happened. We know where it ended, but where did it start? Been stabbed a few times is horrendous. But 18 times is, it's a frenzied attack. The sort of digital experts I want round me at the start of a murder are telephone experts and intelligence experts. My first job will be to go to the victim's coordinator, to go to a specific time, specific date, the time that the incident occurred, and work backwards from that. Normally, you'd have a victim's device on them. That was missing. We didn't have that. I go to my specialist digital experts, specialist researchers. I say, just tell me about any piece of intelligence about Larico. Who are his friends? Who is his associates? What do we know about the tensions in the area at the time? I went on to all of them, our police systems, which stores all of the intelligence that was received. Massive database, hundreds of thousands of pieces of information on any known criminals, gang-related activity. Usually, we have an inkling, we have an intelligence picture. We didn't have any of that for Luriko. I'd started to question, why him? We didn't know anything about him. It was just really strange that we'd got this young 17-year-old lad and, and we still didn't even have a motive. It was, it was really unusual. We widened our intelligence strategy, we widened our digital strategy, hopeful that we'd just get that strand which would point us in the right direction. The pressure can be phenomenal at times. You want to do your best. You know, you want to catch the offenders. You don't want them running around the city. It's up and down. You've had very little sleep. You know it's on your shoulders to try and keep people safe. <laughs> 